This is probably the most common issue you're going to run into when you're web scraping with Python and passing HTML. But what does it actually mean? What it's trying to tell us is that the element that we've selected here under our helpful does not have a text attribute for it. So let's have a look at the code and I'll show you what we're looking at. So you can see here on this line, we have this uh, review and we're basically using this selector here and we're asking for the dot text. However, in most cases, this element doesn't exist on the page. So let's see what happens when I remove the dot text part and we just go with the element itself. We'll find that we actually get it back, it works and we get this none returned here. That's because when we pass, if we don't find the element, it returns none and then we try to call text on none, i.e. the none type and we get the attribute error. But look at some of these ones do have uh, data there. We can see because it says node of a span, which is the span tag. So how can we get around this? Well, I want to show you a method that I've been using recently, which I think is pretty helpful and useful. It involves creating our own extracting function and taking away the actual text part from where we're trying to construct our output data, i.e. in this dictionary here. So let's start with a new function. I'm going to call this extract and we're going to give it two bits of information. The first one is the HTML data and the second one is going to be the selector that we want to use against it. So I'm going to say that our element is going to be equal to HTML.css first. CSS first in Selectolax selects the first one. Uh, I think it's the same. There's the same thing in uh, Beautiful Soup. This will also work with that. It'll just be a little written a little bit differently. So we're going to pass in our selector here. This is going to actually grab that element and then we now have the option of what we can do with it if it is none. So let's say if element is not none so if we do find one we can then return the data that we're after so we'll return uh, element dot text and then we want to do strip is equal to true this is built into selectolax which is really handy element there we go so what this little function here is going to do is if we find it and it doesn't exist it doesn't equal none we're going to return it here so let's put this into our actual dictionary where we're constructing it we want to remove all of this and we want to put in our extract function extract like this the first thing we want to do is give it the actual html that we're working with in this case this is under the review variable then the element like so let's do the same for the title extract still the review and then we have our element here so i'm going to add in uh we're going to add in from rich import print just so it looks a little bit neater in my terminal when we run this so let's run it again and this time you'll see that where that element didn't exist we didn't get that attribute error we just got the none back because that element doesn't exist it doesn't have that text attribute but where it does because of that if statement if is not none we now have where it does exist, we have that text. We want to take this a little bit further because what if you actually wanted to get the attributes from an element rather than the text? Because right here we have just hard coded in that we want the text. So let's say we want to put in some kind of option here. So let's do option and we'll do if option is equal to, and it's up to you how you do this. I'm going to write it in as a string. So I'm going to say if option is equal to text, uh, we'll do the text uh, else l if option is equal to attrs that will do attributes. Then we're going to return our element dot attributes. This will return the attributes for the element in a dictionary. Should we want something like the uh, the href from the URL? And after this, I'm just going to put uh, else so it finally does something and we're just going to return the element itself okay so we need to update this let's go to the end of here and as well as this we want to add in the option and we want to the text of this one so we're going to put text in here like this and in this one let's ask for the attributes so we'll do 
uh, ATTRs like so, and I'm mixing quote marks there. Let's not do that. Okay, and save, run again. We should get now under our helpful tag, we have all the attributes where it is available. So you can see that it has these attributes here, which are not particularly useful in this instance, but would could be if you were trying to get something else. Let's just have a quick look at the code and review what we've done. So this is basically just getting the data. We've created a new function to do the extracting of the text, all the attributes from the HTML for us. So when we go to construct our data, which in this case is a dictionary, uh, it could be something else. It could be a, mo a pedantic model or a data class or something like that. We then have the option to basically return none instead of having to do a load of messing around here we just have this extract function where we give it the html data we give it the selector that we want and then we ask in this case for the text or the attributes like we have here obviously this needs to match otherwise it's just going to return bare element you can customize this to however you need if you only ever need the text or the actual href you could do this and you could change it to href and you could then return the href attribute because this attributes is just a dictionary and we should get load of none now we're getting no spam because we're not matching either of those so we're basically just getting the element back instead which is what we put in here so thanks for watching don't forget like comment and subscribe always helps and you want to watch this video next if you want to learn more about modern html web scraping with python and selectolax which is what i use all the time now.